Hi friends, this is Carmen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing something a little bit different with you. I am sharing with you some recent painting projects that I've done on furniture painting with chalk paint. We're going to start off here in the entryway of our home and I want to share with you this beautiful painting that we picked up at Hobby Lobby. It was $60, but we got it for 50% off, so $30. But I love the country scene of it, the muted colors. It's just absolutely gorgeous, and it goes so well with the colors that we have in our home. And this rug here, we actually got at Big Lots for $23, so that was a really good deal. But this is the desk it's actually a french provincial desk that we picked up at a local thrift store Kristen and i painted it and it was not a pretty color to start with but we decided to go with the black paint along with the gold trim the suitcase at the bottom is also a thrift store find as is this mirror it was originally wood color but i painted it and here's the original picture of the desk. I really love the black. This was completely outside of the box for me. I don't normally paint furniture black, but we decided to go with that with the gold metallic paint along with this stencil on top of it to really add a vintage look to it. This vase here is actually handmade by an old friend of mine. He's a chef that does pottery. And this gold uh, Goodwill lamp, it's metallic gold with glass. It's the perfect fit. I actually had this in my living room and I thought it would go perfectly with this desk here. It looks like it, they were made for each other. This right here is one of my favorite pictures of me and the kids and Rosie. This was taken way back in 2011 when I had just finished cancer treatment and it's one of my favorite pictures. This pillar candle holder, which needs a candle still, used to be black. I painted it years ago, a uh, taupe color and it fits perfectly right here. Now this fiddle leaf fig tree is faux. This is the, one of the darkest areas of the house and it looks bright because of all the lighting, but it is very dark. So that faux tree there goes perfectly. Now this here is the top portion of an old armoire that belonged to my son when he was little. I took it apart, painted that um, top portion of the armoire and put it here. This now is kind of our drop zone where Kristen puts her purse, Lucas puts his wallet and car keys, and we've got also pictures of their wedding and such there. Now this coffee table I had at my apartment, I've had it for a long time. It used to be a walnut wood color. I finally decided to paint it gray top, white bottom with chalk paint and add that sunflower stencil. Kristen really wanted a pop of color and a sunflower. And um, it works perfectly. We have this basket here to hold all the remote controls and gaming controls and all that stuff. But I really like the way it looks and kind of brings the colors together and adds a pop of color along with our, my Curly Sue uh, <laughs> plant there. This is a philodendron royal queen that is still recovering from its cross-country trip. And this here is a vintage chair that I am actually going to try chalk painting the fabric. Yes, you heard me right. I'm gonna, that's gonna be one of my next projects that I'm gonna do, so stay tuned for that. But I wanna show you some more things over here in the dining room. Now this corner hutch, I've had for a really long time. I was so tired of the color. I decided to paint it white 
with the gray shelving and insert there to really help the milk glass pop um, from the colors. I did change the knobs. I added these black ones, but I painted them gray chalk paint and then kind of scuffed them up to make them look a little bit more rustic. But I love, love the way it turned out with the white and the gray. Like I said, it really makes the milk glass pop. Added some faux greenery and some other little things there. And I just love the way that this corner hutch came out. I wanted to try and match it as closely as I could to the other hutch I have in this dining room. I didn't want it to be matchy matchy, but I wanted it to be close enough. And this is the hutch that I was talking about. This one here I got at an antique store already painted, already um, with the applique in the front. And I think that it goes really well with that corner hutch now. Now my next project here is going to be the six chair dining room set that used to be my mom's. It's about 40 years old. She gave it um, to um, Kristen and Lucas when they got married, but it needs some updating. Like you can see the caning on this chair needs to be replaced. I'm going to try my hand at that. I've watched some videos <laughs> and I think I can do it, but I'm going to paint the chairs, uh, recover the seats, paint the table bottoms and restain the top of the table. It's a huge project. I know, but I think I'm up to it. While we're over here, you remember my philodendron burl Mark. Mark, he's doing wonderfully. He did not lose a leaf during the trip. And my Raphidophora tetrasperma, Terry, I've wound him around the um, pole twice because he got so long. So now he's starting to grow again. He's missing a few leaves down there, but he's doing really well. Both of them love, love this high light area here. I'm looking to get some more plants, big plants in this area. Well, there you have it, friends. Those are the projects that I've been working on. I hope you enjoyed this little bit different video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, friends, please make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thanks so much, friends, for joining me today. Have a blessed day. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.